going to show you how to camouflage your truck or your Jeep using just spray paint. I will go over the different things you need as well as all the different techniques I'm using and I will give you a few tips and pointers that you might need to keep in mind. I already have made a video about how to spray paint small objects such as your rifle scope or your rifle, helmets, small boxes, different things. So I would recommend to take a look at that video as well because painting a very small surface and painting a very large surface requires different techniques and we will also be using a different top coat because this is a vehicle not just a small object so let's get started these are the things you need first of all you need spray paint and it could be basically any brand it could be um camouflage that says camouflage on it the more colors you have the better it is but I would suggest at least to have a dark green light green uh, dark brown and a beige and so basically with four colors you can do a pretty good job you will also need a clear coat a top coat and for that you will need to get automotive paint so as you can see it says automotive paint or automotive finish this is what they use on cars so you will need that and I'm using a different technique at least I'm going to try it out so this is white paint this is also automotive paint um, I just wanted to get that because this will be a better quality unfortunately you can't really find these camouflage color spray paints in automotive finish they usually use like metallic green and these really bright colors they're really not like nature so unfortunately you can't get those but you could get regular spray paint and then just finish it off with your top coat now besides that very important you will need different plants so if you go up in the mountains you can find all kinds of different um, fir and pine I would say at least three different kinds of um, plants. You will need a cardboard box or some kind of a surface where you could actually try out how these will work before you use it because I know these plants will work great but sometimes you pick up a certain type of plant and you think it will work and then it ends up not the right one. So you might as well find out before instead of when you're already painting your truck. You will need a few paint, paint you will need a few paint brushes um, just in case you need to you know fix up a few things and I would say a few because once you start using um, paint it will dry up pretty quickly and you don't and then you can't use it so you want to use all these you will need this is basically the bag from the onions that you can buy at the grocery store I really like using this I will show you what I'm doing you will need some tape because you need to tape up whatever you don't want to paint over and of course some gloves unless you want paint on your hands I would recommend to do this outside outdoors so you have really good ventilation or if you're doing it in your garage make sure all the doors are open if you have windows open them up uh, you don't want to breathe in any of these fumes so in that case you might even want to use a face mask and of course you will need scissors to cut the tape if you want to make sure that you don't mess up your truck you might want to try a small surface I have actually done that in August and I just painted the mirrors of my truck and as you see they actually turned out pretty good um, from August to January that's about five months and this area gets a lot of traffic from bugs and debris and then you end up washing it and scrubbing it and it held up pretty well so I just wanted to see how it would work before I actually um, paint a larger surface the first step is to wash your truck at least wash the area that you're going to be painting and I'm going to paint just the tailgate and I'm lucky because that could be unattached from the truck and then I will have it as a horizontal surface and that makes it so much easier to paint because if it's vertical then it could basically start dripping and that just makes things a lot harder
this is not about a couple of hours later and I just want to give you a few pointers number one don't get discouraged about halfway through I felt like it was looking really ugly and I messed up the whole thing and I really didn't like it so I took a little break you have to take a little break here and there anyways because when you paint um, you have to let it dry so then I went back and it looked better and better so the more layers you add the more times you go over with the plants the more and more you do it the better it will look it still has some ways to go but I'm starting to like the way it looks so number two the weather um, it is better if you do this outside because then you don't have to worry about inhaling all those fumes but then you're at the mercy of mother nature such as rain or wind and you don't want to do this in windy conditions it got a little bit windy here so then I had to stop because I want to control the flow of the paint where it goes I don't want to leave it up to chance it will just mess it up and it's going to rain so I definitely have to stop now number three um, the plants so you want to make sure your plants are fresh or as fresh as possible Because you do not want to use dry plants first of all the plant has to lay flat on the surface You don't want it to stick up and and then if you try to move it around it will just break apart So you don't want that you want to have more plants than you think you need because after you have used one piece over and over again It is drenched in paint and then you can't use it again You have to throw it away or at least you have to wait until it dries the next thing I want to tell you is that I didn't follow this advice You need to make sure you have fresh new paint. I have some old paint that I was using and I bought some new ones but if it's old, chances are, even if you shake it up really well, it's going to have all these speckles, these little dots everywhere. And it could look okay sometimes, but usually you don't want it because it just looks really, um, really messed up. And you need to make sure that you shake up that can, but try it out somewhere before each time you actually start painting because you never know how it's going to come out. And I had to repaint some of the areas over and over again. The good thing is you mess up one area, you just paint it over and it will be fine. Um, the other thing is you want to make sure that you are very light handed. So before you start painting, you want to start moving your hand in this motion because that's how you're going to paint. So you start doing this and only then you push the button to, to paint, but you keep on going like that. And then if everything is okay with the paint, then it will come out nice and light. If you just push it, that you're gonna have this big blob of paint, this big puddle, and that's the worst, because then you have to wait forever for it to dry, and, and then you have to paint over it. So these are the few things I can tell you to try to keep in mind. I kinda had to redo a few areas quite a few times, but I think it's, it's looking okay now. And then the last thing I wanna show you, that white area, as you can see, finally it turned out pretty good, but I had to do it like, two or three times first of all the reason I did the white area is because where you have the emblem that says Chevrolet and all that I taped it up but I knew I couldn't tape it up very precisely even if I tried and took all this time it would still not be perfect and it would, wouldn't look right so I just figured I'll keep that area white anyways and then it will be fine and and I kind of like that look I didn't want to cover the entire area with camouflage so what you're doing here is you're basically painting the area with green because your plants are green although you could use brown you paint it with green you let it dry then you put the plant on it and then you paint it with white so this way that plant will just stick up the green on the white background and i think it looks pretty neat but you have to do it like this like the way you see it that i'm doing is that you put all the plants down in all the areas that you want to use all the areas are covered and then you paint it at the same time because the way i did it was that i used i did one area that turned out fine then i did another area and that turned out fine but sometimes the paint overlapped and it messed up the area that i have used before and it didn't look good so I finally figured out how to do this so if you're gonna do it with white I would suggest to do it like this and right now I would say it's about 4:30, 4 o'clock 4 30 and I'm actually camping at the river so I'm gonna put this uh, 
tailgate back in my truck because I'm pretty sure it's going to rain tonight. So I have to get some fire started and some dinner cooked. And tomorrow morning when I wake up, everything will be super dry. I can look at it one more time and fix whatever I have to. And then all I have to do is go over the whole area with the clear coat, probably I would say two or three times, the more the better. So I'm overall happy with how it turned out. It's not perfect, I'm not really a perfectionist and um, I don't really wanna start over and I am really pressed for time because it's going to rain. It was raining all night last night and it started raining this morning and then it was like sprinkling off and on and I just never knew if it's going to be a big storm again or it's going to be sunny like right now. So I had to kind of hurry up and I gave it a clear coat, um, just one layer and I will have to do another two or three layers. You want to do as much as you can. But also I made one little mistake. I kind of rushed it and I went on too thick, which has changed the texture in some of the areas. It kind of looked like if I touched it, the paint would come off, which of course I didn't. And it's not really a smooth finish on, on most of the areas. It's actually pretty smooth, but some areas it looks a little bumpy. I personally don't mind because it is a camouflage pattern and it's it's fine with me but if you want to avoid it I would advise you to just go really lightly on that top coat give it some time to dry it doesn't take as long as the regular spray paint but still give it more than 10 minutes which is what I did and then um, and then go over it again and again um, so hopefully this was helpful to you um, why would you want to do this? I don't know. If you go hunting and you have a Jeep and you want to camouflage it, you might as well do it yourself instead of paying someone so much money. I just kind of wanted to do it for fun. So if you have any advice or tips or let me know how you did yours, just leave me a comment. And thank you so much for watching.